Now that's a hot trick. And right now I'd like to warm up a little gyroscopic juggling. You'll notice if I put this bowl on this pole, it's not very stable. But watch what happens if I get it spinning. If I get it spinning, it becomes much more stable. This is what we call gyroscopic stability. And now I will attempt to spin three bowls on three poles and then clear the tablecloth on the count of five. One. So far, so what? <laughs> Two. Now don't worry, these aren't my bowls. <laughs> Good. Three, uh, two and a half, fractions are allowed. <laughs> two and a half, three, four. Now seriously, I worked this out on the computer. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Well, Tim and Reese have just been demonstrating that juggling, like mathematics, deals with patterns. If you're a mathematician and you like to juggle as I do, it's only natural that you might think about the connection between math and juggling. So today I'd like to have a little fun and show you a brand new mathematical way of describing juggling patterns. First, a few basics. This is a cascade. You'll notice that the balls are going in a figure eight pattern. This is not a cascade. <laughs> and this is impossible. Notice the retractable third arm. <laughs> After doing an impossible trick, After doing an impossible trick, you might want to have a shower, which is the name of this pattern. <laughs> Pretty good, guys. All right. I'll take those. That's, that's hard work. Actually, the shower pattern can be done with any number of balls. So for example, here are some four ball showers. It's curious that the cascade pattern, however, if you're going to do it symmetrically, you have to use an odd number of balls, such as three or five. Now let's look at this whole thing a little more mathematically. Suppose you wanted to describe a juggling pattern by some string of numbers, where the larger the number, the longer the ball is in the air, and so the higher you have to throw it. For example, one is a very small number, so it means a very low throw, there's a one, and the one, 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 one pattern, well, that's uh, something a little different. Now, a three is a little bit higher throw. And if you put threes together, you get three, 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 three. Our old friend, the three ball cascade. Now, five is a much higher throw, but if you put a five with a one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one. Ha ha, that's our old friend, the three ball shower. But you don't have to stop here. By using a more complicated string of numbers, you can have a more complicated juggle pattern. So for example, you could put a one with a four. There's a one, one, four. Well, not too challenging. If you put two together, it's one, four, one, four. One, four, one, four. If you look carefully, you'll notice that Tim's hands aren't completely busy all the time. There's a little bit of space where you might put one more ball, like to make a one, four, one, four, five. And it might even make a nice trick. Well, moving right on. I think theory is all interesting, but I'd like to see the practical application. No, no. No, 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 don't clap until he does something worth it. I want to see this 14145. Well, <laughs> well, it's always good to test your theory. Yeah, so, sure. five. There it is, 14145, excellent. <laughs> the mathematician earned his juggling hat. Well, <laughs> the theory works. Of course, you can imagine there are lots of unusual patterns that you could use these sequences. For example, here's a 441, or this is a 135. In fact, there are literally thousands of new patterns that have recently been discovered that were unknown for the 4,000 year history of juggling. The jugglers now are struggling to very hard to learn these things. And in fact, I think it's fair to say that a whole new dimension in juggling has been opened up. 
Okay. Okay. Well, since, since I've earned my juggling hat, I think it's only fair to share some of this newfound knowledge with a fellow scientist. So, Arno, would you uh, stand right here? Okay, we're going to stand right here. Right? Okay, well, don't. Don't move forward. Don't just a little bit, okay. please. Okay, fine. I don't mean to be forward, but... Eight, seven, eye. six, five, four, three, what? two, one, Arno! Yeah. 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 Yeah.